everybody. Welcome to our back porch version of Cooking Cheese. It's a little nippy today. Matter of fact, we've been out here so long, I'm getting a sore throat. <laughs> We're going to have to put something around your throat I know. You. Uh, get me a shawl or something. We're so glad to have you with us today here on Larry's Back Porch Deck. And this really is. This is not an expensive set that was built just for this program. That's right. And we will be giving out his correct address in just a few <laughs> moments. So <laughs> all of you that want to come and visit uh, him. <laughs> there's a big party tonight, unlimited everything. Right. Yes. yes. A lot uh -huh. of fun. A lot yeah. of fun. <laughs> well, we're getting letters as we always do every year. Thank yes. heavens. Last year we got, no, we got <laughs> no. quite a few. And we got some this year, too. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, we've been reading you some, and, and here's some that just came in a little while ago, a couple of minutes ago, just delivered it to my back porch. <laughs> Dear sir, I enjoy your program very much. I watch your program each time it's on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only 12 years old, but I'm learning to cook. Oh. Sincerely, Arthur Sager. Arthur sent, uh, he's got Where, a little Where's Arthur? Dog. Well, it, uh, it doesn't say. Oh. I'm sorry, well, it doesn't. There's no well, envelope. Too bad. Well, no, I don't well know. Arthur, thanks. And Arthur we hope is, you're still cooking. Arthur's from. Mm -hmm, yeah. Right. There's, you know. Well, this is from Longmont, Colorado, from Nan Regnier. I guess that's the way you say it. It says Our Denver public television station has recently begun showing your shows, although we have been seeing shows from two or three years ago. <laughs> and we hope you're still on. Well, honey, we are. We're still on. We're still cooking. And she goes on to say how wonderful we are and fabulous and great and all that wonderful stuff. And we are, you oh, know, of course. Be the first to admit says, it. I yeah. lived in Missouri for 10 years, and your humor and phrasing brings back memories of the good old boys back there. Oh, oh. Well, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Nan, thank you so much. Oh. And we appreciate you writing to us. Well, M. Russell. How come you give me all the letters <laughs> with, with no addresses and no names? I don't understand. M, if you're watching. Not the actual initial, we might add. The initial has right. been changed. <laughs> Keep up the good work. You have one of the best, if not the best, yes. locally programmed production I've seen. That's what it says, uh -huh. locally programmed production I've seen. You n not is refreshing to look at camera while focused on veggies. what veggies <laughs> was a scream. And it goes on to say, cabinets that crumble on camera remind me of Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> in regard to the sweet and sour stew, oh. never heard of beef stew without potatoes. Well, give us a break. You just heard of it. We did it. Now you've seen it. You've seen everything. Yeah. You don't need potatoes and everything. Also, simmer 45 minutes. Ah, come on. Bet you are still chewing on that stew you cooked for 15 minutes. We didn't use really cheap horse meat. We used regular meat and it browned it first and it should be all right after 45 minutes. You don't have to cook it till it screams in submission. Give us a break. But thanks for writing us. <laughs> and, anyway. he, and he did like the pickled thermidor that we had on the menu board. <laughs> oh, well, that's real nice. That's nice. Something we had no control that's over right. whatsoever. Well, Mrs. Paul Condon of Tacoma Park, Maryland wrote us a little letter here. It says, Dear friends, who are more critical than your TV viewers? Well, I could tell you several. Every people. move is watched. <laughs> Julia Child always comments she uses an impeccably clean towel. My concern on your program today is the parsley was not washed, having still having rubber bands on the bunches. <laughs> that is a dead giveaway. <laughs> not much I can do about that. If so, shame, shame, as parsley has lots of sand on it. If you rinse it up and down in a bowl of water, you will see plainly. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Nevertheless, your show is a joy to watch with all the good humor and fun from start to finish. And best wishes, and we hope it continues for many moons. Sincerely, Helen Conner. Well, Thank now, you we, very much. we did uh, wash that parsley carefully, Helen, but uh, we, we did leave the rubber bands on it so it wouldn't scatter all over the set. Yeah, and that was some of that rubber band part. And the sand isn't too bad for you because, well, you know, you don't know where it's been, but, you know. <laughs> We're going to go over here on the actual deck, on my actual back porch. All right, all right, we got it. We know we're outside. <laughs> they can see the stuff. Is this where we're going to yeah, do Yeah, this uh, is it. You're going to do something with Oh, the... not now. Oh, <laughs> not now. In a little while. I never quite know what it is we're doing. I have a surprise for Mr. Blind. Go ahead and show them what you're doing. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to do some pork ribs. Barbecue oh. them. Got to barbecue them. And I went out last night to the Kroger store, 
And uh, the Kroger meat man was very nice, very kind, and, and I said, I'd like a, a, some pork ribs, and I want them cut in half. And they have uh, been kept in my refrigerator all night long. Now, this is what they look like when you actually put them together. Yeah. They actually match, but what you do is you get them cut apart so that you can handle yeah. them better. Long way. Long wise, yeah. right up the middle. If you get, just get it off the, oh! <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> it's calcified overnight in my refrigerator. No, there you go. There you are. Thank you. Uh, boy, wouldn't that have been something if that had gone flying out? Well, too, I don't or, know. Wouldn't be wouldn't the first, have been the first time <laughs> we've ever lost one. So isn't that pretty? That's just lovely. It really is. Now, you know where that comes from, don't you? Well, on the pig. It, it, it is. Well, now, wait a minute. Come, come around here. It, come around. Come around. Right. Oh, here, boy. now, if you'll just put this on. Hang on, let me, well, never No, mind. just put this on. Just put this on. Right. Anything yeah. that, that I will do for this show. All right, now, just get right down here on the floor now. Like this? Now, squeal like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> now, the ribs are right in here on the pig. And so they just cut them out right along here, <laughs> and that's where they come from. <laughs> Thank you, Laban. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Anything for a laugh on this show, <laughs> I'm telling you. Now, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to mix up a really nice marinade marinade or, or, or barbecue sauce, sauce barbecue sauce and this one's kind of interesting we've experimented around with it a little bit and we've got it yeah we've been around just the way we <laughs> want it we're going to start with half 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 okay all right half a cup you know what kind of oil are of you regular using? oil well i like to use a, a fine vegetable oil Pure vegetable That's an amazing oil. measuring cup. That's a very old one. I oh. can see it only has three quarters of a cup That's in it. That's two thirds. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> one oh. good thing about doing this on the back deck of your house. There we mm -hmm. go. I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong side. <laughs> this is, this is an antique. That's a real nice one. Yes, it's real nice, it really is. A little vegetable oil. I'm going to set this stuff back here. Oh, we'll I go I right here. I hope you don't mind. Your, that's our little soft drink. Yes, which we started earlier. And, uh, and that's the truth for all of you fanatics out there. That is true. There are really lots of them. Yeah, all you weirdos that think we want to drink something else. And this is pure honey. Honey. What? Honey. Honey do. Now, that's a half a cup of that. Yeah. That's real nice. That's clover. Well, you got a nice little action there on that honey on the top of that thing. That's clover honey. Clover honey. Isn't it pretty? Honey. It's uh -huh. got a nice color to it. <laughs> it's a little slippery. But it's got a nice color to it, doesn't mm -hmm. it? You can tell clover, honey, but you can't tell it much. <laughs> I don't know what it means. All right, all right. Mmm. Oh, somebody will get on to us about that. Oh, I know. Well, this Licking is your fingers. my back porch. And if I want to lick my fingers, I will. Well, here, let me get you a paper towel. Now, well, that's what I was going <clears> to... <throat> so all the cleanliness, cleanliness fanatics Excuse out here. Excuse me. We had just washed this porch down moments before we got going here. Now, this is vinegar, and we have a little hint for you. We've decided that this is not the best vinegar to use. The white distilled. Nothing wrong with the brand. There's nothing wrong with the brand. It ought to be uh, cider vinegar. It should be cider vinegar, and this is distilled white. And we're going to go a little more than a half on that, we've decided, just mm -hmm. to nip it up a little right. bit, about two-thirds. I believe the neighbors are two shooting. Two-thirds, three-quarters. I believe the neighbors yeah, are shooting at them. Those kids got that old lady tied up that tree over there. It's just <laughs> terrible. Look at them. Yeah, she is smiling like she's having a good time. Huh? <laughs> I'll tell you about her after a while. Now be careful. Oh, is that the one? Be careful because Miss Kathy, one of my neighbors, sitting here on the deck with us today, would almost say nothing to besmirch up on the, the neighbors. Oh, you know what I forgot to do while what? I was sitting around doing nothing? I forgot to get a spoon, but that's all right. We'll, uh, uh, now we got some, this is some hot English mustard and a, a nice dollop. When you say it's yeah, a nice dollop, for all of you food cookbook editors out there, a dollop is about a tablespoonful. Yeah, and that was, I, I gave it an extra shot. All right, put that in there. Now, you can use just about any kind of mustard that you want to. Uh, I like this, this golden spicy stuff, uh -huh. too, but I'm not using it in this particular case. And in order to sort of spicy it up even a little bit more than before, we decided to add... A little Tabasco. A little Or if you sauce. got a little, hot sauce. little yeah, a little uh, Texas peat or mm -hmm. whatever. About two of those. Two all gone tea. Of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that other guy. Yeah, well, Justin Will. Justin he always says, all gone tea. 
All right, now take that and mix it around real good. I brought my whisk out. And uh, Kathy, I believe they're beating your house to pieces. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> She's real no, it's her son and his <laughs> girlfriend. They get frisky over there. <laughs> I just love it out here in this deck of the woods. <laughs> now that's real pretty. And if you can't see it, I'll pour just a little bit of it in here. That's a nice golden color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Just pretty as a picture. So anyway, now that's more than enough to oh, do yeah. a couple plenty, of those. Plenty. Now what we're going to do now, that pig snout was in my way. I already have one on. I'm going to go over here and let you take a look in there. It is real pretty. Ooh, yes. Look at that. It's golden. I have I put that on just a little bit before we uh, we started today. <laughs> Make sure that <coughs> cleaned off real good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to. Well, now has that been parboiled? Yeah, that's something I meant to tell you about. <laughs> you need to parboil this. That is to boil it, pre-boil it for 30 minutes yeah. in a little salt water. I'm glad you mentioned that. This has not been, no, but we're going to okay. go ahead and put it on because we're going to leave it on for a long time anyway. I'm just going to, I'm going to do this just to show you how it looks. You put it on. This is a gas grill, ordinary gas grill. Mm -hmm. And what you do is, what do you call this thing? It's called a dish mop. A dish mop. And it is fresh and clean. We only got it out of the package a few minutes ago. And we're going to take that and mop a little of that on there. You can also use this as a marinade, as we mentioned earlier. I would imagine if you want to mari marinate this overnight yeah, you could, in this uh, stuff, leave it would your be pork just real fun. In that overnight and then use this as sauce. I'm going to give that one another one, too. And then all you do is just close her up and cook it real slow. Mm -hmm. And it won't hurt it if it gets real dark on the no, outside. No. This one is getting that way, I'm sure. It is. Well, how terrible. Well, your the grill whole thing just to fell pieces. to pieces. Well, well, that's all right. You know, It'll be all right. But anyway. And when, when you get your, your rack of ribs from the butcher, we found that if you just ask them to cut it in half the lengthways, you will find that it's a lot easier to handle on your plate uh, instead of the long one. And when you serve it, let's turn it over here. Woo when you serve, as Larry is going to do here in a minute, you'll notice all the little bone sections along here, and that way you can carve right in between those sections uh, and have it uh, so that you can pick it up and eat it real easily. Yeah. I'm going to dab a little bit more sort of, of this stuff rib on, on a here. stick. Just to it's make also sure a good idea to trim a lot of the fat off of it if you're doing pork uh, because it just uh, makes it unpleasant put just a little more of that on there and then we'll turn it over. And then we'll take a good look at that. That's real pretty. Well, now we're going to do a light dessert. <laughs> <laughs> no stuff, Sherlock. Right, oh, yeah. Great, great, and then great. we're going to give some other people around here their just desserts <laughs> when we get through with this. And what do we have? Well, this recipe was well, sent in to us by Durban Mellick. Beg your pardon? Durban Mellet. Oh, okay. We're not making fun of them? No. no just watch out no, there. No. From Lake Milton, Ohio, <laughs> <laughs> up there in the Midwest. Okay. And this is one of those recipes that we have somewhat avoided doing in past years, but this year, due to popular requests, we're going to do. This is one of those recipes where you go to the store and you buy all this stuff and you throw it together and it comes out into some fantastic salad that they will sell in the, uh, you know, sure. right, yeah. in the deli department eventually. Oh, okay. All right, now with this one, and it is called a light dessert. Give me a light. No, uh, light dessert. All right, one pound container of small curd cottage cheese. If you use your big curd, you're in trouble automatically. <laughs> <laughs> well, how indelicate. Well, I mean, you know, we're just outside. Just it in there, Johnson. Well, I mean, you, you know, outside you can, be a little more carefree about stuff. Well, be careful. That table cost me money. What, that? <laughs> I thought that's the one you got in that box Ooh, of corn it plates. It sure is here. spooky out here. Now, to that, you must add... Box of corn plates? Yeah. Hey, all right, this uh, 
This thing <laughs> a Jello pudding. That Hang I on can. a second. This no, actually, it's it's a uh, sugar gonna, free. I'm going to dab a little something on this because right. it's getting right frisky again. All right. This I'm is. Sorry. Well, just go right ahead, butt in. I don't care. <laughs> 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 Lord, he's burned up his mitts and everything. Got to mention poor Miss Carol. <laughs> fried right here on the deck. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. That I was wonder. unbelievable. I wonder. Wouldn't be the first Our time I've been mix. fried on this deck. <laughs> no. I want to tell you that. Go ahead. Now, this is sugar-free gelatin. And it was uh, some kind of flavor. What was it? Raspberry. <laughs> Strawberry. Oh, I didn't mean to get strawberry. That was an accident. Oh, Did you switch that on me? No, I didn't. <laughs> I meant to get really, raspberry. Oh, no. Oh, Taking well. him outside has been a disaster. And you just sprinkle that oh, down look, in, it's the real bowl, red. <laughs> in the bowl. It's real red. In the bowl. And you don't add any water, as far as I know. And then you have to add, this is a 15 and one quarter ounce. Somewhere, yeah, that's right. 15 and one quarter ounce can of crushed pineapple. Pine <laughs> Lie. I hang on, swear. Hey, hang on, hey. He I know has how brought a. Uh, I'd be ashamed to have that in my kitchen. You don't know how to use it. I'm gonna give you a good can opener. Boy. I have an electric can opener. It was good. Well, I'd be ashamed. That's why you support it. station. <laughs> but I can't get it out here. Now wait, we got to drain it. Excuse me. He's now let, going let, to drain it. How indelicate. Well, that is, as you said, one advantage of being here. Oh, look, on here the comes day. a bunch of school kids <laughs> home from school. <laughs> the neighborhood is just alive this afternoon. Uh -huh. Just tons of people. Well, there sure is a lot of water in here. <laughs> it is. Yes, indeed. Well, it's just full of water. But this is unsweetened pineapple. This is just impacted in its own juice as opposed to some kind of sugared up mess. And look at look at <laughs> look at the look at the jello. It has certainly turned into a lovely big red attractive blobs. thing here. Oh, oh. Well, that goes in. And now Boy, this you, sure does look good, Laban. You mix all, let me hold this up so all of our friends at home and can see. Television lamps can see it. Since we don't have our startling overhead shot. <laughs> this certainly is pretty. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, and it's real good against your uh, yeah. purple outfit. Yes. It's real, a nice, uh, whatever. Well, you just mix it all. This sort of looks like. I believe this thing's out of control. I hope so. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, chew it. Woo! I burned that thing down. Oh, you have burned it to beyond recognition no, stage. No, I haven't. But right, I now, am turning it here off. Here is. I'm going to add an eight ounce container of non-dairy whip topping. And while I am doing this, I think that we should probably give out the recipes. And Larry, why don't you give out the recipe while I continue to mix this non-dairy topping in. Okay, I'm going to give you my recipe. Here we go. They never did that before. That's the first time it's ever flamed up like that. Uh -huh. Well, of course, you start out with a, a couple of pounds of uh, pork ribs. And what you do is you have them cut all the way lengthwise in half so that they're more manageable. And you could either marinate them overnight in the sauce that I'm going to tell you how to make in a minute, or you can, you can just uh, parboil them in salt water, or you could even put them in your oven and uh, you bake them for about uh, 25 minutes on 400 just to sort of render them down a little bit. And then, of course, you make up your fine sauce for it uh, with a half cup of oil, a half cup of honey, about three quarters cup of vinegar, a dollop, a big dollop of mustard of your favorite kind, spicy preferably, spicy, yeah. and then uh, shake about two big shakes of uh, what, uh, Texas Pete? Or Texas Pete or one of those hot sauces. And hot sauces in there. Big old shake. Shake, shake, shake. And uh, mix it up and that's it. Put it right on there. Now, for the uh, this uh, light dessert, you use a pound container of small curd cottage cheese. Oh, three ounce, that's a little small size of unsweetened gelatin. A 15 and a quarter ounce can of crushed pineapple that you drain. 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 And then you're going to do what I'm doing right now and that is to fold in 
an eight ounce package of not whipped non-dairy topping. And I'm just folding it in. And when you do this, it's supposed to chill for five minutes and it is done. So this is being folded in and it sure is pink. For those of you that are into pink, this is one of the pinkest things I've ever seen. Do you suppose that it's going to taste the same uh, in strawberry form as it was supposed to have in raspberry? You know, I don't know. But I guess we're going to find it. <laughs> now, while he's folding, and this may be his final fold, uh -huh. although he has a couple this, around here that are sort of getting the, bigger. The legal size fold or the personal size? To sort you? of get us ready for our little program today, we did, I did a little preparatory work in coming in. I baked up my telephone's rigging. I baked up <laughs> some fool that's trying to get me on the phone while I'm doing a TV show. I did some homemade slaw, which you can whip up in a hurry if you know anything about doing anything at all, and some baked beans. And we've got those out here, and that just go down real well. <laughs> I was rigging the dickens out of that phone in there. So anyway, I'm, we're going to have that to go along with it, too. What we're going to have. Mm -mm -mm. Well, well that certainly is a real is colorful a real uh, mess. Well, let, why don't you cut up the ribs, and I'll put a a serving of this delicious uh, stuff here on our plate. By the way, we uh, want to show this final one, uh, if you can, the one that I just put on a while ago. It is uh, real done, because we have been talking and not paying too much attention, but it really is quite lovely, and believe it or not, it's, it's real fine. Now, we're going to take the one that we did earlier, and we're just going to saw that in well, half. Can you uh, cut it a little further oh, for us? You'd like it? Well, I don't right, see any on, knives so. here on the table. I think we forgot to bring them out. Oh, we are. <laughs> well, yes, there is. Oh, good. I did bring All one. Right. There you go. And uh, thank you. Have some beans. Oh, some, well. Yes, indeed. Help yourself. Greatest plenty. <laughs> well, he's throwing that stuff around. Well, I mean, you know. I've never seen him like this before. Oops. I don't. I hate to get to bake beans over in the strawberry delight. <laughs> <laughs> Afternoon delight. Well, all righty. We'll go over and give this a little try. Let's see what happens. Try out here and see what goes on. Now, Ooh, I, it smells good, oh, though, doesn't it? Yeah, I am just so excited about this uh, <laughs> sauce here that I've just got this uh, light dessert that I've got to try some of it right now. What do you think? Well, it tastes real pink. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. These got done just right. Well, it, does. it does have kind Rip. of a strawberry taste to it. Hey, Let me fire. try one of these ribs here. Mm -mm. Oh, it's heavenly. Let me try some of this heavenly pink. Dark. It's amazing. The incredible blob. It's set up real fast. It has set up real fast. <laughs> it's like eating a field of strawberries. It tastes real pink. It's been set already. Strawberry mm. pink. These little ribs just did real well. They really did. We got our little baked beans here. If Long. your ribs are fatty, you ought to cut the fat off of them before you barbecue them. That's right. Be so bad on them. That's right. Anyway, are, they're delicious. These are just right. They are. Matter of fact, these are so good, I bet you we eat all of them before we leave out of here. I believe what do you want to bet? Yeah. We'll see you Which next week. Uh, I think we got chicken next week on the show. Oh, good. See you then. <laughs>